Would you like to learn more about faith? You've come to the right person. No, not me. Abraham. I'm Malcolm Cox, and this is a daily devotional podcast called Adventures in Faith with Abraham. Abraham, who went, according to Hebrews 11.8, even though he did not know where he was going. Join me as we step out on a faith adventure with Abraham. How important is Abraham to you? He's mentioned by name 317 times in 286 verses of the Bible, so more than most. On a visit to India a number of years ago, I was requested to preach. And when I asked what to preach on, I was told, Abraham. No problem, I said, "But, but why Abraham? And the reply surprised me because many Indian Christians have never heard of him. Now, on reflection, it made sense. So many come from a Hindu background and have never read the Bible. And of course, as was pointed out to me, we don't have to know about Abraham to become a Christian. So I preached on Abraham that visit. I hope I left a good impression of this amazing man of faith. And whilst it's not necessary to know about Abraham to become a Christian, I would suggest It is necessary to know about him to fully grow into all that we can become as Christians. Think about how the Gospel writers include Abraham in their record of the teaching and life of Jesus. Matthew, for example, in Matthew chapter 1 verse 1, begins the Gospel with a reference to Abraham. This is the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Luke records the prayer song of Mary in Luke 1, 55. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Mark, he references Jesus mentioning Abraham in his debates with the Sadducees in Mark 12, 26. Have you not read in the book of Moses in the account of the burning bush how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. John captures a significant moment in the ministry of Jesus when he mentions Abraham ten times in just a few verses in John 8, verses 33 to 58. If Jesus thought Abraham was important, shouldn't we? And we've not even touched on the preaching and acts, the epistles of Paul and Peter, the letter to the Hebrews, and others. And we'll get to those later in the series. So, a simple question for today. Will you commit to taking Abraham seriously? More seriously than ever before? Why not take some time today to pray and ask God to help you to commit yourself to learning about Abraham, not just the stories, not just the history, but the heart of Abraham and his relationship with our Heavenly Father. There is so much to learn here. It can deeply enrich us. My commitment to you in this podcast series and the teaching series that follows for Watford and Thames Valley in January and February is I will take Abraham more seriously than I ever have before. And I hope you will join me. If you have any questions or feedback, please drop me a line, malcolm at malcolmcox.org. Romans 4 verse 16. He is the father of us all. Let's allow Abraham to be the father of faith to you and me. Many thanks for listening today. See you tomorrow as we continue our adventure of faith with Abraham. Take care and God bless.